In this video, we're going to be talking about section 2.1, which focuses on quota methods. These are apportionment methods that decide how many seats each state is entitled to based on something to do with the state's natural quotas. The first quota method we're going to look at is Hamilton's method, which is also called method of largest fractional parts. And by fractional parts, that just means the decimal part of a number, and we'll get more into that later. But first, here's a little bit of history about this method. It was used by Congress from 1852 to 1900. And yes, it was invented by Alexander Hamilton, the guy on the $10 bill that there's a really popular musical about now. At our country's founding, it passed the House and Senate, but George Washington vetoed it, and this was the first presidential veto of legislation in American history. Now we'll talk about how to apportion using Hamilton's method. First, identify the house size and find the total population. Next, find the natural divisor. Third, calculate the natural quota for each state. So steps one through three here, this is everything we went over how to do in the introduction to apportionment video, and these steps one through three here are going to be the same first three steps for every apportionment method we look at. It's really important. After that, the fourth step, for the initial allocation, round each state's natural quota down. This means get rid of the decimals and allocate each state this number of seats initially. Five, if any seats have not been allocated yet, assign them to the states with the largest decimals in their natural state quotas until no seats are left. Now let's look at an example so we can have a better understanding of how this works. Here we'll use Hamilton's method on the example we looked at in the previous video. So we had our populations here, and these are the quotas that we calculated last time. So for our initial allocation using Hamilton's method, we would first get rid of all of the decimals. So Springfield will initially get 29 seats, Mordor will initially get 98 seats, and Hardis will initially get 271 seats. Now what we're going to do is add all of these up and see how many extra seats we have. And this ends up adding up to 398. So that tells us there are two seats we didn't allocate yet. Because we had 400 seats to give out. According to Hamilton's method, the states that have the largest decimals in their natural quotas are the states that get the extra seats. So the first largest decimal we have here is 0.9154. So they are going to get one extra seat. They'll end up with 99. And the next largest decimal is over here, 0.5835. So they will also get one of the extra seats. So for our final allocation, Springfield gets 29, Mordor gets 99, TARDIS gets 272, and this adds up to 400, which is the correct house size. And one important thing to note here, even though Springfield's quota would normally round up in this case because we have a 0.5, they don't get another seat because the other two states have larger decimal parts in their natural state quotas. If we only had one more seat to give out, Mortar would be the only one getting that seat because they have the largest decimal. So it always goes from largest to smallest in terms of how many extra seats you're giving out. So let's look at another example here. Here we want to apportion 76 representatives to the following three counties of Delaware using Hamilton's method. So I would suggest pause the video here try to go through this on your own, and then you can see me go through the rest of the solution. Okay. So we'll go through this now using the steps for Hamilton's method. The first thing we need to do is find the total population by adding up all of the state populations. Next, we find our natural divisor by dividing our total population by our house size. So our house size is 76, our total population we found over here. So we have our natural divisor. Now we need to find our natural state quotas. So remember, natural state quotas are equal to state population over the natural divisor. So for Kent, we would divide Kent's population by the natural divisor, and then the same thing for Newcastle and the same thing for Sussex. So for each one, we take their state population, divide it by our natural divisor over here, and our, qu our quotient is the natural state quota. Now for our initial allocations we would simply get rid of all of the decimals and allocate each state that number of seats initially. So Kent's natural quota is 24.3 something, we get rid of the decimals. Newcastle's initial allocation will be 25, and Sussex's 
initial allocation will be 26. Now we need to add all of these up to see how many seats we still need to allocate. So we add all these up and we get 75. But our house size was 76, so we still need to give out one more seat. We still need to allocate one more seat, so we'll look to see which state has the biggest decimal. So we have 0 0.34, 0 0.31, 0 0.33. 0.34 is the largest decimal out of all the ones that are here. And note, these are all numbers that would normally round down, but we're still going to give Sussex an extra seat because they have the largest decimal out of everybody that's here. So they will end up getting an extra one. None of the other states get an extra seat. So Kent stays at 24, Newcastle stays at 25, and Sussex will go from 26 to 27 seats. And then all of this adds up to 76, which is the correct house size. Now let's look at one more example. Suppose 40 representatives are going to be allocated to the states shown in the table below based on their populations. Apportion the representatives to the states using Hamilton's method. Here again, I would suggest you pause the video, try to solve it on your own, then hit play to see if you solved it correctly. Okay, so the first thing that we would do here is we need to find our total population. So we add up all of the state populations, get our total population. Next, we need to find the natural divisor. So we would take our total population divided by the house size. Remember our house size here is 40 because we're allocating 40 representatives. So that's our house size. And our natural divisor is 287.5. The next thing that we need to do now is find our natural state quotas. And for that, we take each state population divided by our natural divisor. You can do all of this very quickly on your calculator if you watch that other video on how to do this very quickly on a TI-83 or TI-84. We end up getting the following state quotas. Now we need to do our initial allocations. So now we need to do our initial allocation, and for our initial allocation, we just cut off the decimal part of the quota. So a quota of 8.6 something becomes an initial allocation of 6, a quota of 10 point something becomes an initial allocation of 10, and so on. So here we have 11, and here we have 9. And now we need to add all of this up to see how many seats we still need to allocate. This adds up to 38. So this means there are still two more representatives we need to allocate. So we still need to allocate two more seats for representatives. And we're using Hamilton's method, so the way that we decide which states are going to get the two extra representatives, we'll look to see who has the largest decimal. So the first largest decimal is over here, 0.6957. So they're definitely getting an extra seat. And the next largest decimal here is 0.4783. So they are also getting an extra seat. So now we have our final allocation. We have 9, 10, 12, and 9. And we add all of these up, and they add up to 40, which is the correct house size.